don't know how you people with beards do it, but this is like the farthest I can grow this thing. And it just is so annoying. I can't deal with it. I feel like I have hair everywhere. I can't feel anything on my face anymore. This is going this weekend. I've just been prolonging because it's winter and every time I'm clean shaven, it's all cold. Anyway, time for the Rebels recap. This week's episode of Rebels is basically a heist gone wrong episode. Um, Hondo basically contacts Ezra and lets them know that there's stuff the Rebels will want on an abandoned Imperial cargo ship. So Ezra and team get together to go and basically raid that ship with Hondo. And any episode Hondo is in, you can pretty much guarantee is going to be a comedic comedic uh, taste on the episode. Because that's what, that's what Hondo is. He's the Jar Jar Binks of the Rebels, but just way more funnier and not as stupid. So, of course, with the sweet offer of proton bombs to the Rebels, they can't refuse the heist. Uh, but then they find out As Morgan is there, too. And As Morgan cannot be trusted even more than Hondo in their eyes. So, uh, they still go along with it. Zeb gets put in charge of the mission, uh, despite Ezra's wishes to be put in charge. And they go down to the Imperial Freighter, Zeb, Chopper, As Morgan, and Hondo. And they get attacked by one of Hondo's crew member, Ugnats, and finds out that Hondo had already previously tried to come get the stuff off the ship and something went wrong and so basically he abandoned his crew. Chopper goes to restore power to the ship so they can open the door to the cargo bay but Ezra just slices a hole in it anyway with his lightsaber at the same time that Chopper activates power and the door slides open. So then they start offloading the tre the treasure and proton bombs via winch, except Zeb wants the proton bombs first because that's what they came there for, so they make Hondo wait to offload the treasure until after the proton bombs are done. As Morgan goes back into another room to look for more treasure and never calls back in, and when Hondo says not to worry about it, Zeb calls back in to make sure he's okay, and he doesn't answer, so Zeb goes looking for him. And turns out that Zeb gets attacked by some crazy Terminator-looking droid, which was explained by the Imperial droid that the Rebels have on the Ghost to be a Imperial Sentry droid. And he warns them not to engage. So Ezra has to go rescue them from the brig because Zeb wakes up from being unconscious and tells them that him and Asmorgan are in the brig. So Ezra goes to rescue them, and after they're rescued, they see the Sentry droid walking by, and they're warned not to engage. And, of course, uh, as Morgan does, he takes Ezra's gun and starts shooting the droid, disabling it, and then they were told why they weren't supposed to engage is that every other sentry droid on the ship would activate, and all these Terminator droids just come out the sides, and now they have to run for their life back to the Ghost and Cargo Bay. So, basically, of course, just like always, they run there, they escape, Ezra covers them all while they, all, while they are all running away, and... Um, he finally gets on the ship with Zeb and they escape, of course, after a little bit of a climactic thing where they almost fall to their deaths. Um, but yeah, that was it. And of course, Hondo escapes. Everyone, everyone's alive. So no one, no deaths this time again, no Game of Thrones. And now as for my review, I think this episode was pretty funny, um, which is what it was supposed to be. Not really, of course, it was again a filler episode. We already can pretty much expect most episodes are going to be a filler episode, except for the one coming up this weekend. Um, but this episode was, was funny as you could expect with anything from Hondo, his, his funny little quips that he makes and stuff like that are always make an episode pretty, pretty good. Uh, there were just a few laugh out loud parts I had, like when Chopper said every man for himself and left Ezra, abandoned Ezra completely. <laughs> um, that part was probably the funniest part of the episode for me, uh, when Ezra was fighting off all the Imperial Sentry droids and Chopper just abandons him. Um... But yeah, other than that, it was a pretty basic episode, but it it was funny, which is what it was supposed to be. They got the proton bomb, so that's always good. Um, nothing really to talk about too much, except Zeb probably won't be commanding another mission again, since, you know, he didn't do that great of a job, especially if Ezra's not going to be able to. Ezra's definitely grown a little bit older with Hondo. He kind of sees more who Hondo is now. But he still likes Hondo, but he, he is noticing who Hondo is, so that that's cool. It's another one of those little Ezra's growing up trait things that we like to see in Ezra, and he's a little more, Ezra's a little more serious about certain things with Hondo than he was previously in other seasons, but other than that, yeah, that's a pretty good episode, pretty funny. I recommend, I recommend definitely watching it if you haven't yet, uh, but... 
I look forward to this week's episode because um, I don't think it's a filler episode from from what I know of it. They infiltrate Thrawn's, they infiltrate Thrawn's uh, little area, so that should be interesting. And I think that's it for this week's Rebels recap and review. So I give this episode a piratey comedic eight out of ten. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you check out the other content on the screen. And I'll be having a lineup coming up soon uh, about next week's lineup. I'll be doing a video of that soon. So look for that and I'll see you guys later.